move forward to the next participant, Mr. Sanjay Kumar Gupta. Yeah, good evening, each one of you. So I'm audible yes, right now. Yeah. Yes, Sorry. sir, your voice yeah. is slight low, but yeah, we can hear you. So I'll just share my screen now. Yes, sir. Is my screen visible? Sir, it is visible. So I'll be sharing basically how to use Python for the forensic audit essentially, right? So uh, I have designed certain rules in the Python and uh, like this is the bank statement, uh, a sample one I'm just displaying and uh, it's a small one I deliberately picked up but you can pick up any length of a statement. So I will be conducting the forensic audit on this bank statement, right? So, uh, so that uh, it can give me certain uh, like uh, critical issues which I need to see in the in my audit basically. So I'm just closing it now. I'll go one by one, like uh, on this bank statement, certain transaction. First and foremost, in the Python, I have designed like uh, I think many of you must be aware. Like certain libraries are there which we need to import in the Python, like pandas, matplotlib, seaborn. Like anyway, these are some like we need to import so that the relevant code can run like uh, on this uh, Excel sheet. So this is the first I like did it basically. Then I designed uh, the second code about the cleaning of my bank statement because the like. Uh, these are two initial things which I need to do. The second code which I design, where uh, like this bank statement is there, like it has date format transaction, just so that it get completely in sync uh, what the Python wanted basically. And then it has some debit credit balance values. Again, I wanted them to be completely in sync with that and some description. So this is basically a cleaning function I need to perform so that uh, there is no data formatting issues are there with respect to the when the Python code runs over the my Excel sheet. So this is the, like the data cleaning which uh, I have done it essentially. Then I go to the major first code. Then here I designed a code where I wanted uh, like to run this code on the uh, my Excel sheet to find the round transaction. Right? So this is the first criteria I put over there, like any kind of a round uh, figures, because there's a one criteria you can have. And if I run this code over there, you can see. Now, yes, this has come now, you can see that. So, uh, sir, is, is my output is visible to you? Is my output visible? Yes, sir. Okay, thank you. I just was sometimes it was not. So this is a, a small sheet I took, but just to give you the, you can have a sheet of a like uh, 50, 100 sheets basically. In one go, it has picked up the round figures transaction on one criteria from my Excel sheet. So this will be the one area where I wanted to see whether these round transaction are all right. Maybe I need to further investigate. So this is when I put it, I create a code and I try to find, he likes, you can see that how if the, I have a bank statement running into 100 pages, in a one go, I can just like pick up this transaction and then I go for deeper investigation. This round, this is the one criteria where we put it basically on this small sheet. Then I, after this, I do the next criteria, I define certain keywords basically, right? I put on some keyword in my code, like if you see this key, these are keywords. Here, like I put cash, ATM, withdraw, self-transfer. Now this keyword I've given basically, you can see. And I wanted these to be picked up from my bank statement to be really be able to see for my further, like cash withdrawal is one area where I can worry. ATM withdrawal, self. Now this where I can just pick it up and then I can go for further deeper investigation basically, right? So like if you run this code based on these keywords and uh, now this where 
in this in the statement there only self are there there's no atm other other codes other other letters are not there so this has picked up the self transaction now i can again analyze those self transaction and uh, see what kind of transactions are there so i can put up more criteria also as my suppose like you can say suppose there's a group company transfers are there i can pick up a code of this group company transfer suppose there is a siphoning out funds are there i can put abc company names in my that uh, like uh, this code over there like this is where this suspicious keywords and those keywords will be picked up immediately so that we can see how in python the huge plethora of transaction you define a keyword it will throw for your like analysis basically so like this i took the four criteria but like for the suspicious inter company transfer group transfer siphoning out the funds anything you can put more criteria and the data will be out in a fraction of second this is the like keyword then i put some overall visualization like i put like i want you to see my overall how the debit credit transaction are there into my like overall i want to view so this code i designed for that and like i just uh, run this code and now it will give me the pictorially basically the debit credit debit credit it will give me this transaction and here green is a debit right is the credit like this uh, the other one the credit are there and i can see the overall flow of my transaction over a period of time how it has occurred so that like uh, over here is almost symmetrical but this way you can create a visualization and create a visual view of the data set and the last one is the criteria is where i go for a suspicious transaction right so i <laughs> like uh, put again on a suspicious transaction and uh, run this code basically like some round figure i put some criteria over there and then i run this code and uh, now this is going to export my file right to a excel at a desktop location just open my desktop and there you can see that now it has come out with a entire round transaction basically or entire round transaction has come out basically debit credit so this way like i have put this my code over there and this way i am able to see this round transaction debit credit then i go for further investigation so this is the like i pick up pick up certain criteria to be able to see how this python you can design and a huge database you can examine in a fraction of a second you can expand the code also like further as per your requirement and make more criteria like this code i already all i code have designed in that chat gpt in the perplexity basically like uh, so and but this way like using the multiple criteria you can run and do this uh, like forensic audit you can put more criteria also so this was all about my presentation yes any question is there i'm really open for it thank you thank you for the presentation sir uh, I don't think there are questions for you, sir. So it is a very useful case. Uh, those people who are working in the domain of forensic audit will surely relate to it. So thank you, sir. We'll get back to you at the end if any questions are there. So moving on to the